here in Studio One, we can use our QWERTY keyboard, our computer keyboard, to control our MIDI instruments if you don't happen to have a uh, MIDI controller. So the easiest way to set this up is just hit the caps locks key. You can see that we get this here on screen. And now with our instrument here open, I can use our QWERTY keyboard to uh, play the sounds in this case in the uh, Mai Tai here. All right, but if that's not working for you, if you can't just hit caps locks and it's not coming up, let's come up here to Studio One and Options. You can see it's added right here. If I remove that, we can go ahead and add it again. Now I have an Axiom 61 setup. You do not need any MIDI keyboard setup, okay? So if you're working on a laptop or a Surface, you know, the QWERTY keyboard can be very helpful. So choose Add here under External Devices, Add. Come down here to Personas, the folder, and just choose your QWERTY keyboard. Choose OK, and then you should have it added right here. Choose OK, and you should be good to go. Again, caps locks to bring it up. If that doesn't work, hit over here to mix and make sure you're showing external and then double click on the QWERTY keyboard right there. All right. So again, caps locks, easiest way to, uh, to do that. But then you can use your QWERTY keyboard. Use my arrows here to go up or down an octave, for example. Change my velocity. Sustain with our tab key there. A lot of stuff you can do here. And this of course works not just with our personist instruments here. It also works with any instrument uh, that you uh, want, like contact, for example. Now this window has to be showing in order to use your QWERTY keyboard as a MIDI device. All right, so make sure I have it selected over here, QWERTY there, and make sure it's monitored over here. Now, if this was closed, guess what? Nothing at all. So just hit caps locks, brings that right back up for me. I can, of course, again, activate our Mai Tai again and play both of these at the same time. And of course, you can also record like this as well. Just go ahead and record. All right, stop the recording. And as you can see, there is our MIDI right there. So that's how you can use your QWERTY keyboard in Studio One.